What's up everybody? Coach Crystal here with Six Pack Abs and today I've got an awesome full body dumbbell workout for you to do. I know that everyone's dying to get back in the gym, but I just want to make sure as for now, since there's still a lot of gyms closed and a lot of people that can't get in there, that you have all kinds of different ideas that you can do at home with your body weight or with some dumbbells. So to get started, this is what we're going to do. This is the breakdown. We're going to do five different exercises and it's going to be timed. We're going to do 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and it's, you're going to run straight through and you get a 30 second to 90 second rest at the end of every set. So you just kind of fly through all five exercises at first, then you can take a break. If you need longer than 90 seconds, by all means, take as long as you need. And for those of you that don't like to do timed exercises, if you want to just break it down to 12 to 15 reps, you're more than welcome to do that too. Just make sure when you're doing one side at a time, you do 12 to 15 reps on each side. All right, so let's get started. I'll show you the exercises first, and then as always, I'll run through a whole round with you because we're in this together. All right, so this is how it's gonna go. So we're gonna start with some thrusters, okay? And on the thrusters, you wanna make sure that this is a full body exercise. You wanna make sure all parts are working, but you're also making sure your core is tight through the entire exercise you're breathing and you're making sure everything is in line so you're not hurting your back or anything. So you're gonna hold your dumbbells up over by your shoulders because you're gonna be going into a press on the way up. But first you're starting with the squat. And remember on the squat, you don't wanna bend your knees forward. You always wanna sit back. So you wanna sit back into the squat, go down as low as you can. And then as you come up into the press, make sure the core is as tight as possible that way you're not um, moving too far forward and you'll hurt your shoulders. So again, go right into the squat, then you come up into the press and then slowly come back down. Make sure you're not throwing your arms up because you can get injured that way. So slowly down, come up into the press. Don't forget to breathe. Your feet are shoulder width apart. You're keeping your quads uh, engaged the entire time. Don't lock your knees when you come up. You want to make sure your knees are slightly bent the whole time. That way you can keep resistance on those quads the entire time. And that will be your thrusters. And as you can see, it gets you a little winded. Anytime you're raising your anything over your hand, your hands over your head, you're going to lift that heart rate up a little bit. So breathing a little heavier is normal. So those are the thrusters. And again, this is a dumbbell workout. So the next exercise would be renegade rows. Now I know a lot of times that the dumbbells can kind of hurt your wrists a little bit or feel uncomfortable in your palms and your hands. So if you don't have um, the rubber dumbbells, you can either wrap something around this, a towel, just to make it a little more comfortable for you. So on the renegade rows, you're gonna make sure your feet are spread out to give you balance. Your core is super tight. You don't want to bow down with your back. You don't want to come up into the air. You want to make sure you're straight. That core is tight. You're going to go uh, feet spread wide to give you balance. And then you're going to lift up into that row. Try your best not to tilt. I know it's hard and you're going to tilt a little bit, but just try your best to engage that core and don't tilt too much. Pull all the way up, squeeze, slowly back down. Squeeze, slowly back down, and there you go. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Or you can do 10 each side, 12 each side, whatever works for you. All right, now, next exercise. Exercise number three, we will use um, a wall. If you don't have a wall anywhere near you, you need to find a flat surface where you can squat and raise your legs. So, you get into a 90 degree, all right, so you're up against the wall, back is flat against the wall. You feel it already right in your quads. Make sure you're balanced. It actually helps if your feet are closer together because you're gonna lift your leg out. So you need some stability with the other leg. You can kind of feel pushing up against the wall as well. Just make sure your back stays flat. So you're gonna lift your leg out and you'll continue this for the whole 30 seconds. All right, it's already burning. <laughs> Okay, so fourth exercise. These are gonna be squat, and it's gonna be a squat, squat jump combination. So you can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells, whatever is easier for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit wider on my squat form this time. 
a little bit wider than the normal shoulder width. So I'm gonna go a little bit wider. I'm gonna go into my squat. Again, making sure I'm slowly going down. You don't wanna drop down too fast. And as you come up, you're gonna go into a squat jump. So you come into the squat, come back up, keep your knees slightly bent. You don't wanna lock them. Again, you wanna feel that resistance throughout the quad. So you're coming into the squat, and then you go into a squat jump. Into the squat, into a squat jump. And you just keep on alternating. For those of you that can't jump, if you have knee issues, that's okay. Just keep pulsing with the squats the whole 30 seconds. All right, okay. That's four exercises down, and the last one is a little bit challenging. So, you won't need your dumbbells for this one, but you're gonna be in push-up position with your hands shoulder width apart. And then, as you go down into your push-up, you're also gonna do a jack, so it's a push-up jack. So you're gonna jack with your legs as you do the push-up. Again, same rules apply. Don't bow down, keep that core pulled in tightly. Make sure your belly button's pulled in towards the spine and you can just feel like your back is flat. So as you go down, your feet go out and then back in. And you breathe, going down when you're doing the work. All right, and that is your score. And that is your push-up jack. They're a bit challenging and yes, I know, Pretty mean to put them on the end of the exercises, but you got this. All right, so that is all five exercises. And now we'll start with first row. All right, so I have the Tabata set, and we're gonna, again, do 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, you get 10 seconds of prep time, and then it's gonna go right into it. We got all five exercises. We're gonna go straight through, and then you can take a break at the end. So, about 10 seconds, we'll get started. First up, thrusters. Go ahead and get your dumbbells ready, have them up, and then we're going. Remember to keep your core tight, slowly on the press up and slowly on the on coming down. Make sure that you're keeping resistance on those quads the whole time. Got this, keep everything in line. Really feel that burn in those quads. Come down as slow as you can and as low as you can. They're already burning. I feel it in my core as well. And press. Press is done. All right, so now we're gonna go into those renegade rows. So again, spread out your feet so you have a lot more balance. And then you're just rowing up. Keep that core as tight as possible. Squeeze when you get up there. Squeeze through those shoulder blades. Make sure you're not twisting too much. Also, breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Whew. Yep, this one's a good one. Hang in there. Only 30 seconds. And done. All right. Now, we're gonna go into those wall sits. To find a good spot, go on the wall. Get all the animals out of the way. <laughs> Make sure you're in that 90 degree angle, pushed up against the wall. You have a good balance. And your leg raise. Lifting those legs up, squeeze the quad. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes. Make sure you don't have a rug that moves. <laughs> Woo. And kick out. I know this burns, but again, 30 seconds. You can do anything in 30 seconds. And you can do this anyway. Woo, shake a mash. <laughs> All right. Hang on five more seconds. And go into those squat jumps. So here we go. Go into the squat. Keep those knees slightly bent and then go into the jump. And again, if you can't do the jumps, just keep squatting. It's gonna start burning. You'll feel it all through the inside of that thigh. Woo, squat and jump. Squat and jump. Woo, shake it out if you need to. Squat and jump. All right, got those out of the way. Doing the squat jump now. Last one, four seconds. 
Go on to those push-up jacks. Get the dumbbells out of the way. Find a good spot on the floor. Jack out as you go down. And then back in. Make sure that core is tight. You're also not locking your elbows. You wanna make sure you keep those elbows slightly bent as well. Don't ever lock them like this. Always keep them slightly bent. And almost there. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure that core is tight. Woo! Yeah. Well, one done. We did it. <laughs> so now, take a 60 second, 90 second break. And if you need longer, take longer. If not, jump right into round two. Do two, three, four rounds, whatever you're comfortable with. And again, if you don't want to use the timer, 12, 15 reps, you're good to go. Hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do at home to help you stay active, help you add in a little strength training with your body weight training. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to share. Click the notification button. That way you know every time we put out a new workout. Until then, see you guys later.